Hello listeners, this is the presentation on Vibe of Global Limited. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. The content of this video is based on Vibe of Global Limited uh, Q3 and 9 months FI32 financial results presentation submitted by the company to the Bombay Stock Exchange. Q3 FI22 highlights Revenue grew by 3.5% year-on-year, 33.2% over Q3 FI20. Gross margins continue to be strong at 60.4%. EBITDA margins Q3 FI20 exclude Germany were at 13.2%. Significant increase in unique customers and TTM basis 4,94,511. Return ratios of ROC at 38% and ROE at 28%. Launch TJC Beauty and Sky Network TJC Free View Channel now airing number 22 from, 20, from 50. Investments in digital platforms and automation declared interim dividend of 1.50 per equity share, face value of 2 rupees. SEZ confirmed excellence awards by IGBC for green built environment. The company provided 61 million views since inception for one year meal program purchase feeds. The company has a global footprint with UK, Germany, US, India, and China operations. Manufacturing units are spread across locations. Vertically integrated supply chain, Asian base. Vertically integrated supply chain in Asia, low cost manufacturing and value sourcing, serving affluent but valuable customers in Western and developed markets. In the Western countries, the company has presence in Shop LC, delivering joy in USA, TJC.co.uk in United Kingdom, and in Germany, it has got Shop LC. The company is resulting in industry leading highest gross margins. The corporate overview include end to end B2C business model, presence on proprietary TV home shopping, proprietary e-commerce platforms, and social and third-party marketplaces. The company has strong management and governance issues with professional management, strong and independent board, and with Deloitte as internal auditor. The company is based on solid infrastructure backbone, continued investments in building digital capabilities, scalable model, and limited capex requirement. Four hours of the customer engagement has 127 million and it has got 3.1 lakh, 42.3% TTM, 29 TTM. Repeat purchases, 42.3% retention, 3.1 lakh registrations, and 127 million reach. The Innovate Funnel include ideas received, ideas proposed to buyers, ideas approved by buyers, and orders placed, and products sold in channels is 800 plus. The company has Innovate, a global product innovation search program, crowdsourcing of ideas from employees, customers, and other stakeholders, year-to-date 10,650 ideas, and 800 plus new and innovative products launched. The quarter three and nine month FI20 performance is shown here, revenue breakdown shown as 725 crores in Q3 FI21 up by 3.5% in Q3 FI22, 1,874 for the 9 month FI21 has increased to 2,067 crores, a jump of 10.3%. This is a growth on TV revenue, digital revenue and B2B revenue. The revenue background continues here and the company has shown growth on all parameters. The financial performance, gross profit has increased uh, to 1,303, an increase of 10.8%. EBITDA is down by 15.4% to 256 crores. Profit after tax margin is down by 2.6% to 210 crores. EPS is 12.90. The shareholder equity is highest at 9 months FI22 at 1,123 and fixed assets including tangibles has gone up by 419 for the nine month FI22. The cash flows, operating cash flows are indicated here, was highest at 324 in FI21, has come down to 67 crores in nine month FI22 due to the capex operations. US retail and income sales has uh, dipped for the last three quarters owing to COVID challenges, and UK retail has also dipped due to external factors. The company has declared 73.6 crore interim dividends.
Dabuti ki has got recognitions and accolades uh, from different sources. Uh, it is awarded as ICSA National Award for Excellence in Corporate Governance, Rajasthan Best Empire Brands in Awards 2021. The company has also bagged great places to work and is a preferred choice for employees. The shareholder base of the companies include promoters and other group members hold 58%, foreign institutional investors hold 21%, Domestic mutual funds use 6.81% and others are 8.79%. Then mutual funds have been decreasing the stake over the last four quarters, while FIS continue to hold more than 11% as of December 2021. The performance of the company has been quite bad for the last uh, six months. It has gone down by 4.4% and in the last one month it has come down by 12.5%. The company is a limited uh, electronic retailer and manufacturer of fashion jewelry and lifestyle products across India, US, UK markets, and Germany market. Promoter holding is quite high. FIs are holding around 10% and mutual funds are below 10%. The company's share price has a year high of 1000 and a year low of 377, best buy around 350 levels and target price of 600 in a period of one year. The company is a predominantly an export-oriented company and we can expect better results only in the longer period of time. In the shorter period of time, the company have faces a lot of headwinds due to operations getting impacted by COVID and other pandemic. So investors can avoid this share for the short term and let the price stabilize. And long term investors can, however, look at acquiring in small lots when the price comes down to 350 in the negative market. Thanks for watching this video.